In septic shock, the body's response to infection can lead to widespread inflammation and a decrease in blood pressure, which can be life-threatening. Norepinephrine is a medication commonly used to manage low blood pressure in septic shock. The optimal level of norepinephrine in septic shock is still a subject of debate and may vary depending on the patient's individual characteristics and clinical status. However, there have been some recent updates in the use of norepinephrine in septic shock. One important update is the use of early goal-directed therapy AGDT, which aims to optimize hemodynamic parameters, including blood pressure, cardiac output, and central venous oxygen saturation, in the early stages of septic shock. This approach has been shown to improve outcomes, including reducing mortality rates. Another update is the use of a step-up approach to norepinephrine dosing which involves starting at a low dose and gradually increasing the dose as needed to maintain adequate blood pressure. This approach has been shown to reduce the risk of adverse events associated with high doses of norepinephrine. Finally, recent research has suggested that the use of alternative vasopressors, such as vasopressin or angiotensin II, in combination with norepinephrine may be beneficial in some cases, particularly in patients with refractory hypotension. Overall. The management of norepinephrine and septic shock continues to evolve, and it is important for clinicians to stay up to date on the latest research and guidelines to provide the best possible care for their patients. Thank you.